In this series of lessons, we're going to look at how to solve equations, a really important aspect of mathematics, taking you all the way up to higher and beyond. Now, you can see here quite a lot of people have, have tried to solve different types of equations. We've got Euclid, al Kashi, and some other people here. I'm not going to go into that in great depth, but there's some interesting names there if you want to type them into Google and find out about what they try to do with equations. Now, the first method that you ever work uh, out how to solve equations with is called the cover-up method. I'm not going to spend too long on it. I'll show you how it works. And it's good for a particular type of equation, uh, but it's not good in the long term, so we, we tend to go away from this method. But here's what it is. So, say you've got an equation here, w plus 5 equals 9. And the equation we're always trying to work out what the variable is. Uh, one of them, so 1w or 1y or 1x or 1t. So in this case, what we do is we cover up the thing we're trying to find out. And we say to ourselves, what do you add 5 to to get 9? And you should be able to work that out at this point and say w equals 4. Notice the line equals signs up and write w equals 4 underneath. Keep it neat and nice and tidy. The same idea with a takeaway in the second one. I've got x take away 13 equals 8. You say to yourself, what do you take away 13 from to get 8? And you should find your answer is 21. With more complicated examples like this one below, you cover up the 2y and you say to yourself, what do you add 4 to get 10? And that's 6. But under the hand, you've got a, a 2y. So this time we're saying that 2y is equal to 6. And then we need to get 1y always in the equation, or 1x or 1z. So we have to divide by 2, so half of that, so you're going to get 3. And the same with this idea here. We cover up the 4z and say to ourselves, what do you add 8 to to get 24? And the answer to that is 16. But under the hands 4z, so 4z is equal to 16. I'm looking for 1z, so I need to divide by 4 to get that. So the answer is 4. Now this is where the cover-up's really good, when you have a subtract in front of the variable that you're trying to find. It's quite hard to do this with balancing, um, which we'll come to next, but the cover-up's dead easy with this. So this is why it's, quite, why it's quite handy. So let's look at this. We want to find w. So 16 take away what is equal to 9. And you think, well, that's going to be 7. And that's your answer. Over here, it doesn't really matter. It's the other way around. We've got 12 equals 20 minus something. So you say 20 take away what equals 12. Well, that's 8, isn't it? x equals 8. More complicated ones cover up the 2y. So 16 take away what is 10? So that's 6. So it's 2y under the hand equals 6. And finish it off the same way. You have to divide by 2, so 3. And lastly, cover up the 4z and try and work out what the 4z is going to equal. So 40 take away what is 24, you get 16. So 1z is equal to, and we divide by 4, so 4. 